What is up guys, Lim here and today I am going to be showing the difference between two abilities which look almost same in description but trust me guys there is a difference. So there is this ability called multi scale and what does multi scale do? It halves the damage from any attack when the pokemon is at full HP. So only two pokemon get it currently that is Lugia and Dragonite so multi scale halves the damage from any attack or special attack taken from full HP. Now there is one more ability which is similar to multi scale and that is shadow shield. So shadow shield also when the pokemon has full HP regular damage from moves is halved. So similar to multi, similar to multi scale shadow shield also halves the damage when the pokemon is at full HP and currently this is the signature ability of the pokemon called Lunala and only one pokemon get it. So two abilities exact same just two different names. Wait. There is a very very big difference. So let's get to find out what the difference is. So as you can see I have a battle screen and on the topmost section we have a Lugia and a Lulala. And as, as I said Lugia is one of the one of the two Pokemon which has multi scale and Lunala is the only Pokemon which has shadow shield. Now I will show a battle demonstration to point out the difference between multi scale and shadow shield. So let's begin. So first we have a Necrozma. This is a normal Necrozma. Now let's see. I go for the Psychic Fangs. The first damage is 9% since this Lugia is multi-scale. Now watch the second damage. See the second damage is almost double the damage. It's 21% because of the roll. So as you saw multi-scale halves the damage of any move when taken from full HP. Now there is a move called Photon Geyser. Photon Geyser ignores any type of ability. So let me show you what Photon Geyser does through multi-scale. See this Lugia went for Roost. And watch what happens when Necrozma goes for the Photon Geyser. Watch what happens. The first Photon Geyser damage. <clears throat> See how much it took? The Lugia took 24% damage. Now watch what happens when we go for the Photon Geyser again. So Photon Geyser did 25%. So as you saw. Regardless of the HP, regardless of whether Luke is at full HP or not, Photon Geyser is a move which nullifies any type of ability. So as you saw, the first hit from full was 24% and the second hit <coughs> when Lugia was not at full HP was more 24%. So Photon Geyser is a move which ignores multi-scale. Now there is one more ability which ignores multi-scale. Not just multi-scale, it ignores all type of abilities and that is called Mole Breaker. That is, there are three abilities. There is Mole Breaker, there is Terra Volt, and there is Turbo Blaze. Now let's see what Mole Breaker Terra Volt does to a multi scale. Let's just find out. See, we have a Mole Breaker Necrozma. Lugia went for the Roost. It's at full HP. Now let's see how much the Psychic Fang does. See, the Psychic Fang did 21% damage. Now see how much Psychic Fang does again when not at full HP. See, 19% damage. So Mole Breaker is ignoring multi scale. Mole Breaker ignores multi scale. Now let's see. Now. Mole Breaker plus Photon Geyser, both both moves and abilities ignore multi-scale. See how much this Lugia took, 22%. Let's go for it again, <clears throat> just to show you. It is ignoring the multi-scale ability. 25%, now let's see the second hit, how much it does. Does it do double damage or same damage? See, it does same damage. So as you saw, Mole Breaker, not just Photon Geyser, but the ability Mole Breaker also ignores multi-scale. So multi-scale is an ability which takes half damage when the Pokemon is at full HP. However, it is ignored by ability destroying abilities like Mole Breaker or Terra Volt or Turbo Blaze or ability destroying moves like Photon Geyser. Also, I would like to show you what Turbo Blaze does. See this Terra, Terra Volt. Necrozma is Terra Volt. This Lugia went for the Roost. So let's see how much Psychic Fangs does. Psychic Fangs did from full HP 21%. Let's see how much Psychic Fang does when not at full HP. It did the same damage 19%. So Terra Volt is also ignoring multi scale. Let's see Terra Volt plus Photon Geyser. See, it is ignoring the multi scale. Let's check it out again. Should it do same damage? Yes, 24%. So, as you saw, as you saw, multi scale halves the damage from full HP, except, except if your Pokemon has Mold Breaker, Turbo Blaze, or Terra Volt, or you are using the move called Photon Geyser. Multi scale will be ignored and you will take regular damage. Now, let's move on to the second similar ability to multi scale called Shadow Shield, and we will find out the difference. So, now as you can see, we have a Lunala, the only Pokemon which gets the ability called Shadow Shield. 
And as I said what Shadow Shield does, when the Pokemon is at full HP, similar to Multi-Scale, it halves the damage. But wait, there is a difference between Shadow Shield and Multi-Scale. Let's test it out. So this is a normal Necros one, nothing, nothing special. Let's see how much Shadow Shield takes from full HP. We go for the Psychic Fangs, the first hit did 10% and let's see how much the second hit does. The second hit did 20%. So the first hit when this Lunala was at full HP did 10% and the second hit did double the damage since this Lunala was not at full HP because Shadow Shield came into effect similar to Multi-Scale, it halved the damage. Now let's see, ability nullifying moves like Photon Geyser. What does it do to Multi-Scale? Lunala went at full HP, how much does this Photon Geyser do? The first hit did 11%. Now let's see the second hit, how much it does. The second hit did 22% oh okay so we got a first difference ability nullifying moves like photon geyser doesn't have any effect on on shadow shield shadow shield completely ignores ability nullifying moves we have the first difference now let's see how ability nullifying abilities like mold breaker terra volt turbo blaze how does it affect shadow shield let's find out so as you saw, we have a Mold Breaker Necrozma. The first hit, how much does it do? First normal move hit did 10%. Let's see how much the second hit does. Second hit did double, 19%, since this Urana was not at full HP. So we got the second difference as well. Ability nullifying abilities like Mold Breaker doesn't have any effect on Shadow Shield. However, however, it was ignoring multi-scale. So Shadow Shield doesn't have <clears throat> completely ignores ability nullifying abilities so shadow shield we have two differences first shadow shield is ignoring ability nullifying moves and shadow shield is ignoring ability nullifying abilities now let's check how mold breaker which is an ability nullifying ability and photon geyser this combination ability nullifying move what how does it take place photon geyser the first hit it did oh it did 11 percent let's see the second hit <clears throat> Second hit is doing 22%. So Shadow Shield is completely ignoring the combination of ability nullifying ability, which is Mold Breaker and ability nullifying move, which is Photon Geyser. Shadow Shield completely ignores the same. Now the last difference, let's try, let's test out the second ability nullifying ability, which is Terra Volt and find out whether it has any effect, Terra Volt. Let's see how much the first hit does. The first hit is doing 9%. The second hit, let's see how much it does. Does it do double damage? Oh my god. So we have one more difference. So abilities like Terra Volt, which is an ability nullifying ability, it has no effect on Shadow Shield. However, it was it, it was ignoring multi-scale. Let's see the same combination, Photon Geyser plus Terra Volt. First hit is doing. The first hit is doing 12%. How much will the second hit do? Okay, let's try test out again. The first hit is doing. How much it does? 11%. Now let's see how much the second hit does. The second hit is doing... Does it do double damage? Oh shit, it does double damage. Oh my god. So, this is the difference between Shadow Shield and Multi-Scale. Multi-Scale halves the damage from full HP. However, ability, ability nullifying abilities like Mold Breaker, Turbo Blaze and Terra Volt completely ignores Multi-Scale and will do regular damage whether you are at full HP or not. Also, ability nullifying moves like Photon Geyser completely ignores multi-scale and will do regular damage. And now, Shadow Shield. Shadow Shield also halves the damage when your Pokemon is at full HP. However, however, Shadow Shield completely ignores any ability nullifying ability like Mold Breaker, Turbo Blaze and Terra Volt. Also, it ignores any ability nullifying move like Photon Geyser. So this is the difference between Shadow Shield and Multi-Scale. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more facts and more interesting stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. And most importantly guys, stay safe guys. Bye bye.